A couple of videos ago, I went over my most recommended accessories for Breville machines. If you haven't seen that video already, I will leave it linked up here. But in that video, in the third spot was one of these, a precision filter basket. And a lot of you guys showed a lot of interest in them. So I thought I would make a dedicated video explaining why they are better than the stock basket and what exactly you should expect if you go out and buy one. If you wanna check these out, I will have them linked down in the description below. So with Espresso, one of the main goals is to extract the entire puck as evenly as possible. Things such as removing clumps, tamping out air pockets, and ensuring a level surface are easy ways to help achieve this. However, one often overlooked aspect is the filter basket itself, and that's because it's not something that's visible to the naked eye. Can you see the differences in the holes between these two baskets? How about now? I put the stock Breville basket and the IMS under a microscope. On the left is the stock Breville, and on the right is the Precision IMS. And this isn't just a Breville thing. Here's the stock filter basket from the Gaja Classic Pro, which if you remember, I actually said I struggled to get good results with. Although these might seem like very small imperfections, they represent a large percentage change when considering a very small hole. John Buckman from Decent Espresso actually has a great explanation of this. He explains that a 0.2 millimeter hole will let through about 0.8 milliliters per second at brewing pressure, where a 0.3 millimeter hole will let through 1.6 milliliters per second, double. So if your basket contains a patch of over or undersized holes, or under or overly spaced holes, it will skew the flow towards or away from that part of the puck. To validate what I was seeing under the microscope, I spent the afternoon pulling bottomless shots on both the stock Breville filter basket and the IMS, recording the extraction time, extraction percentage, as well as if I saw any noticeable channeling. And here were the results. The IMS basket had a significantly faster flow rate at the same dose and grind setting. So I was able to grind two whole steps finer on the Barista Pro to slow it back down. This contributed to extractions that were about 0.3% higher on average compared to the stock basket. In terms of visible channeling, things were about equal. Each basket had one or two shots with squirting, but there was no real observable advantage to either. Of course, numbers only tell part of the story. When I was actually tasting these shots, I found that the shots from the IMS had significantly better clarity and less overall bitterness than the stock Breville filter shots. It is not a mind-blowing difference, but the difference is definitely there. So all of these things combine to explain why I included these as one of my must-have Breville accessories. I'd be really curious if the other precision basket manufacturers started to make 54mm versions, but for now, IMS appears to be the only ones. So kudos to them. Again, if you want to check these out, I will have them linked down in the description below. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave us a like and even consider subscribing if you want to see some more like it in the future. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.